<laughs> so, because Amy is a little bit shy, she's asked me to vlog going into the Chinese shop, obviously full of confidence. Chinese shop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that really worked, but hey, yeah. for the YouTube channel, <laughs> say hello. hello. <laughs> <laughs> If you haven't gathered already, in this video, I'm just going to be asking my brothers some questions you guys asked. But yeah, I have a bunch of questions. I put a poll on my Instagram story the other day. And we're just going to be eating as we answer the questions. That's how Amy got us to do the video. She was like, <laughs> she was like oh, do you want to film a video? We were like, mm. we'll give you free Chinese food. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Wait, just for everyone watching who loves sweet and sour chicken. <laughs> That looks so good. Should we start with some general questions? Start with some general okay. questions. How close would you say you are with your brothers? No. I hate them. I hate them really. Just... <laughs> oh, I can't, even can't say swear. That. I think we're pretty close actually. No, no. I've got... We are really, really close. We are quite close. Yeah. Sure. But I do hate you <laughs> sometimes. I don't have the best sibling relationship. So I, like. mm. I don't like you, but I love you. Yeah. No, yeah, so exactly. That is extremely true. I hate Americans. Do y'all think y'all look alike? <laughs> Oh. Bro, flashback to the first video. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> I think we look. I think me and you look quite similar. No, no. I'm way more handsome. <laughs> I'm oh. so much better looking. But. All our lips are quite similar, and then I've noticed that. <laughs> and then Daniel has the lightest eyes, and you have the darkest eyes. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. What's both or what's all of our favourite foods? That's a good question. I know what mine is. Oh, no. Why are we eating rice with chopsticks? Because we're Asian. We're Asian. Yeah, but rice. Yeah, well, if you don't have the skills to eat rice. I do not have the skills. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying hard. Mm. Yeah. My favourite food has got to be a slow cooked beef casserole. Oh, yeah. Where like the lamb and, and the beef is just mm, slow. Oh, why did I say lamb? But the beef is really slow cooked. It's just, that's the best thing. I don't know what my favourite food is actually. I think my, a steak has to be my favourite food. Really? Steak, 100%. What is your ethnicity? <laughs> we're all half, so our dad is Malaysian and then our mum is English. So we're like a mix. I am mixed. Are you single? I am, unfortunately. Me and now. Luke are both single. Single. Daniel's, Daniel's all wiped up. up. Daniel's got yeah. a lot. We all want to tell like our most embarrassing secret. Like, what's one thing that you're like, oh, like you wouldn't really want to say to a camera? Okay. Whilst well, there's a camera pointed at <laughs> Yeah, honestly. This is so I went to go and see a girl. <laughs> and it was going really well. It was really cute. We went, um, and was on like a, a park just having a little chat and we we're just sitting down on the swings and um halfway through us having a conversation i really needed a fart <laughs> <laughs> and i was like trying so hard to hold it in and it's so difficult if anyone's really needed a fart and mm -hmm. didn't want to let it out before to try and concentrate on what someone is actually saying to you <laughs> whilst also trying to hold it in so i was like semi listening yeah. just like sort of squeezing like don't come out of me <laughs> and then all of a sudden it just let it rip, and it weren't quiet. It was so loud. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is my mo. I can't believe I actually just said. Are you gonna? This is. I've got a work more embarrassing one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <what>? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like bad. What's wrong? Okay. No. I've sh myself on a date before. Said... My most embarrassing story. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. You ever been rejected? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. Right. That's enough. For that. Next off. Do you guys tell each other about your relationship slash personal life? Yeah, all, all of the time. I no. Always, always. Yeah. And Amy just comes to the room. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> who's mum's favourite and who's dad's favourite? Right. Is such it's an easy, easy <laughs> For both. <laughs> for both. No, no, no. <laughs> I would say, no. I would say dad's favourite, but mum's favourite, I don't think so. Who's, who's mum's favourite then? Me. <laughs> no, no way. No, no way. <laughs> Honestly, Amy can get away with murder. Our dad is a very, very strict. And I love him. He's the best dad in the world. But I can't step a foot out of the line. Amy steps a foot out. It's okay. It's fine. Amy, don't worry. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Lil? No, you spilled some soup? <laughs> <laughs> no. 
<laughs> no phone for a month. I'm 20 years old. <laughs> what is one thing you like about your culture? Do you know, wait, can I go first? Yeah. Do you know what I love? I love that I walk into dad's house and there'll be random, just random people I've never met before, like just staying with us for a few months. Cause it's like auntie, it's like auntie yeah. you, I've not seen you ever. <laughs> just, <laughs> I've, got so many, <laughs> I've got so many aunties and uncles that I just, they just stay with us and I, I never yeah, know who they are. Honestly. Mm. But it's quite, I think it's quite a sweet culture no, to have. Like, like it. you can like. just like, if I were to go to a country, there'd be a relative there that we could stay That's with. That's what I mean like, it's like parts of Asia especially, it's very mm. family oriented. Yeah. yeah. A lot of it is all about family. Yeah. Together and I'd have to agree with that. That dad, he's always said blood is thicker than water. Blood is thicker than water. Yeah, his, uh, that's always, always been his thing. Yeah. Next question fashion tips. Look What's like me, dress like me, walk like me, talk like me. <laughs> there you go, you saw it. My fashion <laughs> tips to girls, I would say. Um, for, I guess we're going up to spring now, so I'll give you some of my favorite spring trends that I sort of like. <laughs> Definitely cargo skirts. I think I'm going to be a big thing in spring. Also, linen trousers for like over bikinis and stuff. I feel like that'd be really nice. Yeah, like tube tops. I think also nice, like some basics I feel like will be very trendy this summer with like a few little patterns. What about you? My fashion sense is just black, like you can see, so I wouldn't take advice from me, but... Yeah, you wear a lot of all black, don't I you? I wear mostly all black, so I don't really know. So the next question... Is our first kiss story. I don't really want to hear yours. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be perfectly honest. I'd rather like not know. So my first kiss was a thing of romance and beauty. I was in primary school. <laughs> no, I can't name drop on YouTube video. I was up to blood blood about. I was in primary school and I had a girlfriend, a long term girlfriend. Like no, proper kiss. Nine years. This is a proper kiss in primary. This was what I thought was a proper kiss. <laughs> I believed this was it. I believed there wasn't anything after this. Okay, <laughs> we're now getting married. And we was on the playground and I was, I was like, look, come over here, let's have a little talk. Okay, brought her to the corner of the playground where, you know, you go if it's serious, all right? If it's serious, <laughs> serious that's you where know. you go. <laughs> Pull her over and I'm like, look, I think we should have our first kiss. She looks like she's <laughs> Her. Yeah, I like confidence. You, what? In Honestly, primary school, I was no shot. You were unique in primary school. No, 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 this is this is no, your it's primary school. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> little old me with round cheeks was like, look, this needs to happen. Okay, I'm not going into secondary school without breaking this barrier. <laughs> and she was like, okay, I went. <laughs> oh. yeah. That's kind of wholesome. What are you doing? I don't even remember, man. My first kiss. Too many I, girls. I didn't get no action in primary school. Yeah, I need Primary school, I was... Oof. How is it to have a YouTuber sister? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Everyone, everyone in college was like, I oh, watch your sister, you're so cool. And I was like, yeah, that's my sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does it ever get annoying though? No. No, no like, oh, I'd no, say it's like, yeah. on a serious note, like, from the bottom of my heart, I'm so happy Amy's sort of pursuing Aww. YouTube. Okay, advice on how to have a good relationship with your siblings. You gotta be mean to each other first. Mm -hmm. like, you gotta get yeah, past you got, that yeah. point. And also I think, like, being open with each other, like, if you're both open with each other, then it's like... And it's more about maturity. Like, yeah. Amy, Amy's extremely mature for her age, so it's a lot easier for us Like, when we were younger, be, we were never that we were close, because we I was really always close. very immature. Yeah. But we were both immature, but... Mm. I think once you have maturity, I think mm -hmm. you're able to come a lot closer with your sibling. Mm. I 100% <laughs> agree with that. And I always think another thing is like, especially growing up in a house with siblings, making sure you have your own space and your own time mm. and seeing each other when you want to see each other, not just because you're forced into a room and you have to spend time with them. Mm. Yeah, that is a good one actually. What's the most attractive thing you find in a girl? Very easy answer for me. I think I answered this in the last like, sort of Q&A that we had. Eyes. Oh, eyes. Yeah, you did say eyes. eyes. Like a girl's eyes. If you can look into a girl's oh. eyes and it's like, Oh my goodness. Are we talking about personality or looks? No, um, looks. both. But I think personality, loyalty is 100% the most important Yeah, but how do you know if a girl is loyal or not? Like, as in like she doesn't text other people or like what, what do you think? You just have to have a certain Having level. each other back, having each other's backs. I and mean, that's why I think, Three tough times. have being a friend first before the person you've got to have such an important step. Mm. So you understand what they're like when they're not in a relationship as well as when they are in a relationship. That's very true. What's the most attractive thing in a guy? Um, personality wise, <laughs> they've got to be funny. Like, I literally laugh at everything. And if they don't make me laugh, then you know they're extremely unfunny. <laughs> <laughs> like, they've got to be able to make me laugh. Yeah. Favourite order at Wagamama's? Dombori bowl. If, you, if you've not had a Dombori bowl, if you've not had... <laughs> 
<laughs> if you've not had a Donbori bowl from Wagamama's, you're seriously missing out. Mm. So good, best thing. But when you get it, mix the egg. Mix it all Ooh. together. Don't just have it with it. Mix it all. Nah, man. Mine's the He's like ramen, ramen bowl. Man. I think the ramen's too plain. No! Like every time I get the ramen. It's spicy ramen pork ramen. Mm. I've never so had good. that with that. I normally get the noodles, the yakisoba noodles. They're mm. really good. If you get katsu curry, leave. Sorry. No, no. katsu curry isn't horrible. It's no, basic. But it's so basic. Yeah, so yeah. it's still good. It's quite basic. What age gap do you guys have? So we're just like our ages. Yeah, I don't really understand you guys' age gap because I'm not <laughs> really know still how old. I, I still see Amy as 13. She's 15. You're 17, 17 and Luke's 20. So me and Luke have a five year age gap and then me and Daniel have a two year age gap and then Dan and Luke has a three year age gap. How do you handle school and social life? Like, how do you balance out? Because we're all quite busy, I feel like. How do, we, how do you balance it? <laughs> For me, it's not, I don't really balance things that well, like how I work, I'm constantly doing stuff and that's when I'm at my happiest, like I'm not one of those people that gets burnt out, you know, if I work all day, I come home at 6, 6.30, I'll go to the gym, then I'll go out for dinner with my friends and then I'll go out for a drive at night and then I'll come back and like, I find it very difficult to sleep unless I've literally exhausted myself, so I'm just doing stuff constantly, but it doesn't bother me, so I'm not really sure how to balance it. I mean... That definitely has to be a balance, like somewhere in there where yeah. <clears throat> not doing any work versus spending all your time doing work. It has to be like a middle ground where mm. you have social life and doing. I'm off coaching now, so that's another thing to Ooh, yeah. add to the social life balance. See you in a bit. See you later. But yeah, how I balance social life, just to finish off the video, is definitely have a plan, like plan out your days, plan out your weeks, like what you need to do that week. Um, and then you can take them off to like know what you've done that week and what you need to do, what you forgot to do. And that just makes you feel more organized rather than having everything in your head. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want more videos with my brothers because um, I really enjoy filming them. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. See Bye. You.